election is less than a week away, and candidates for the state house in District 2 are vying for your vote. The three candidates all have different experiences, but the same concerns for the district. Not on your side's Priscilla Casper shares the candidates' top priorities and how they would improve District 2. The two Democratic candidates up for District 2 representative are Rosano Gabaldon and Daniel Hernandez. Gabaldon is running for her third term as the state's District 2 rep, while Hernandez spent the last five years on the Sunnyside School Board. Republican candidate John Christopher Ackerley taught for 17 years as a physics and math teacher. All three candidates' top priorities are education and infrastructure. Arizona ranks 48th out of the country for education. I understand education. I have been active on a policy advocacy basis for a long time. I want to help move education in Arizona forward, public education in Arizona forward. And then the other theme was representation for Southern, Ari yeah. Southern Arizona. Mm -hmm. Ackerley says the elephant in the room, a funding issue. Actually, a Prop 123 was a start, but it was only a start. Um, I would like to see in the next legislative session um, restoration of uh, ninth grade funding for JTED, that's our career and technical education programs, um, and uh, all day kindergarten funding. Gabadon says the next step for education is looking at um, retaining our, our teachers, um, you know, putting more classroom supplies. Um, being able to repair uh, these the school buildings that are that are falling apart, and also paying for new schools, and then especially our support staff, our bus drivers, our cafeteria workers, all that support staff that we need to run as schools. So that that funding is lacking. Hernandez wants to create a state-based financial aid system and help students prepare for future jobs. We are hearing from the business community that they're not able to recruit the kind of people that they need because we're not investing in education, both at the K-12 and at the university and community college level. So making sure that we're doing what we can to advocate for those additional funds for education because we know if we need to attract businesses in the future, we need to have a good place for them to take their kids to school. Regarding infrastructure, Ackerley wants to fix State Route 89. One of the biggest issues is SR 189, which is the highway. It's not really a highway yet, but the section of road that connects the La Mariposa port with I-19. There are billions and billions of dollars every year that flow through that port. In fact, a third of the produce that comes into the United States comes in through that port. And um, we need to do something to facilitate uh, traffic along that. Gabadon says the state needs to give more money to highway user revenue funds. Why is the state uh, not giving the money to the municipalities and counties? And so uh, I, I would I respond by saying, you know, that that is something that has been a concern of mine. Uh, transportation and infrastructure has always been a, a top priority for me, but um, uh, along with others. But I tell them that I'm going to continue to advocate to get more money to our counties and municipalities. Hernandez says the district needs to invest in infrastructure in order to attract businesses to the area. One of the biggest problems is the state of the roads, bridges, and every kind of kind of infrastructure that we have in this district. So really investing in infrastructure and making those smart and targeted investments. For their full interviews, right. head to kega9.com. Priscilla Casper, Kega9 on your side.